afternoon. I know I, I, I don't normally do another live, um, but I'm doing this live again just to reach out because um, it's been confirmed that there was a death um, at seduction. And um, I'm getting a lot of uh, feedback from women who are scared. And I understand, yeah, you guys are scared about um, surgery and what, you know, what has happened that makes you take a look at it. And one of the questions was from one of the ladies is, what do I do? If, if, how do I know if I'm healthy enough to have surgery? And again, just really knowing what things are with you medically, right? Um, and what is considered um, healthy? What is considered healthy? Um, I'm not going to confirm um, or speak about what doctor, you know. Um, I'm just going to confirm a death. Um, legally, I can't address that as far as if, in fact, the doctor that's being mentioned is the doctor, in fact, you know, um, that this happened to. Um, I think what I wanted to address is the fear that now is plaguing a, a, a lot of you um, right now. Um, what is healthy, right? Um, and how do I know that I'm healthy enough to have surgery? And again, you know, I got a call from people and now they're, they're, they're repeating that, what I'm saying, and, and, I, and I hope that people do. Proper planning prevents poor performance, right? plan properly right by getting your lab work early by uh making sure that you're doing the things that you need to do prior to that and so how do i get my heart healthy do some walking not, not walk just to uh you know to lose weight because people ain't never walked a day in their life but now they want to walk because they want to lose weight but walking and little cardio helps strengthens your heart Okay, you know, help strengthen your lungs, right? Doing things that you know to better position your body. Even though we're taking vitamins and we're taking these things, and some of us just taking the minimum things that's needed to get them cleared. Let's stop talk, thinking about what's going to get me cleared and think about what's going to save my life, right? Um, making sure, again, you know, that you uh, get you get the things that you need from your doctor. You know, stop asking groups of what you need to do. Um, do a panel. Do a, do a full physical. Okay? Just don't do the checks and go in there and take the paperwork that you get from the surgical clinics. And um, mediocre just, just ain't going to do. Let's not shortchange ourselves. Let's, let's plan to do the proper way, right? Go and get a full physical. Okay? Look at what being said, you know, be honest and open with your doctor. And I know some of you guys don't have doctors, right? Um, and, and you are getting medically cleared, you know, based on lab work, but physically, physically, being physically fit for this, right? Making sure that your heart and your lungs and different things is physical. Well, with every surgery, there is a risk, you know, there is, there is certain risks, right? And so we don't know what happened, right? But what we want to do, and I guess what I'm here to do, is just to address the fear, you know, of it could happen to me, right? Um, it could happen to you. Um, are you got? Are you gonna do it or you're, you're not, right? So um, I think once we make, and you're right, it's a lifestyle change. Once we make the decision to have have the surgery. You know, um, we need to start looking at things about us. Like, am I really healthy? I remember, um, and, and I'm human, and guys, don't get me wrong. Um, I done done some dumb shit, too. I done, done, I done been there, right? Um, I know I wanted the surgery, and, and, and I didn't lose the weight like I was supposed to. So now, I'm crash dieting. You know, I am literally not eating shit, okay? I've got to lose eight pounds. Within two weeks, so I'm um, taking citrus nitrate. I'm um, doing di Direx, okay. Um, you know, to, to flush the pill. You know, I'm doing nothing but fucking water. You know, and I'm, you know, I'm, I want to drop the weight real quick. But what I'm doing is, I'm changing my body. My body is no longer fit for surgery. It's weak. It's probably semi dehydrated and I'm only saying that for the grace of God you are me and for you guys that are out there doing this think about it give time time so um 
and, 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 and I'm just being upfront and upfront. What are we doing before surgery? Um, and so we got to make sure that we're in the best position. And, and, and I was there. You're welcome. I do care. And that's why I came back on because I do care. I care about for the family. I, my heart goes out to the family of the young lady. Um, I'm grieving the loss of a sister. Okay. Okay. That's one of our sisters, right? I don't know the whole story. And sometimes me, I stay in my lane. I ain't trying to get the whole story or the facts, right? Because that's a left up to them them the family and her loved ones right but my fact is to come back to, to, to address this issue to, to send some love and some hugs to maybe de-escalate the fear because it's healthy it's supposed to be but when things like this happen it allows me to take a look at myself it's an opportunity for me to check and balance what's going on with me right um so again making sure that you're you're planning properly. I hope that catches on. The five P's. Proper planning prevents poor performance. This ain't for the weak and this ain't for the cheap. And when I say that, I say that because when we are living in either one of those, some of our decisions making is going to be, uh, you know what I'm saying? Though I'm weak, I'm scared. So I'm going to start getting all this stuff to mask the, the pain. And I don't want to feel the pain, but I want to go through the surgery. You know what I'm saying though? And then I'm cheap because I want to do the surgery, but it's things that I must do. And it's going to probably cost some money. And I need to do it to make sure that I put myself in the best position, right? So if I'm operating between weak and cheap, I'm going to make some bad decisions, okay? My decisions are going to be based on those two factors, and so my choices that I make are going to be not choices that's the best interest for me, okay? Because now I'm going to pick a house that, because it's cheaper, but is it the best? Is it going to give me the best post-op care? Is it going to check the things that needs to be checked, okay? All right? And if I'm weak and I'm scared and I'm a punk, I told I tell my girls all the time, stop being a little punk. If I'm a punk and I'm scared of pain, I'm about to put all this stuff that's going to mask my symptoms and stuff, you know. And, 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 and two, I can't watch what you bring. I tell anybody, if you got anything, let me know what you got. Because I know the behavior that I need to be seeing based on what we're giving you. But if you back there in that room taking some other shit, you know what I'm saying, though, then there's a contradiction. There's some shit that, that I'm not going to see. You might be covering it up. So honesty is the key in this whole thing. Being honest about who you are what you doing okay and what you got and that's on all levels whether i got an issue i got a health problem i got some stuff that i'm not talking about so again this is just to address the fear nor am i negating that anything th this person did was wrong i don't know the story i'm not even that's i'm not even that's not my avenue right now to even try to speculate what happened or this or that or diminish what happened or anything I just feel like the people that's in that are dealing with that, right? So we have to deal with right now what's going on in the surgery, surgical industry and how is it affecting us right now, right? Right now. How is it affecting us right now on um, hearing this, okay? It's hard to hear this, but we, but again, there's risk, right? Um, and we do the best that we can to minimize it. I say pray, guys. Pray. Be honest. Be upfront. I just got, you know, while we were talking about it, and, and which caused me to get back on, is that one of my dogs was telling me how she was sitting in the um, a pre op, and a young lady, you know, knew her situation and, 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 you know, having weight loss surgery and stuff like that. And we'll talk about that how to deal with people that come to the house that has weight loss surgeries and how do we get them to eat and things like that. But she was saying how one of the girls asked her, can she get a copy of her labs? Hmm. Yeah. Exactly. Why? Why you want to copy my labs? So you can alter the name and turn the lab work in like it's yours. I'm here to take everything out the closet. Okay? But y'all, what we doing? What we doing? That's what we doing? You want my lab work? You want my pee? Stop cheating. Um, 
I know like earlier today when I did my early the earlier uh, live, um, I had not caught and win. Um, there's certain avenues that information comes to me and until it's confirmed that it comes the way that it needs to come to me, I don't speak about it, but I did get the information and it's something that I could feel that's reliable, okay, and not rumored for me. Um, yeah, it's not worth it, ladies. It's not, but it is worth it to some the value that we place in on ass and dicks. Too high of a price to pay. And some might say, it's easier for you to say, Miss Tammy, because you didn't have surgery. And for us, that's not. You just don't understand what we go through. Girl, please, I do. I am you. And that's why when I talk to you, I'm talking about me too, because I done did some dumb shit too, okay? And I still be thinking about dumb shit, okay? I'm human, okay? I don't put myself on no pedestal, okay? At all, right? From the heart reaches the heart, right? I'm sad. And I know you guys are scared. But let's get honest. Let's talk. Let's because the only thing that we can change is what we do. We can't change anything else. The only thing that we can change is us. I don't need to lie to you. If I lie to you, that's one thing. But when I lie to myself, that's a whole different thing. Stop lying to you about you. Call me back again. I, I, I'm, you know, I'm sorry. Call me back again. Yeah. Um. After this feed, give me a call. I love y'all all. I'm on my sister's keeper. So I just wanted to come back on um, for you guys, you know, that are scared and stuff. Um, it, it touches home for you, right? So please just make sure that you're putting yourself in the best position, okay? In the best position um, that you can um, for surgery, okay? Um, what's a couple of more days? I hear girls that's willing to take shortcuts because they saying, um, I don't want to wait. I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to wait. Weight broke the wagon because there's too much weight. You need to wait if it ain't right. Okay? If it ain't right, wait. You waited this long. Wait. Get it right. Check your five P's. And the who, what, when, why, and how. Okay? Who gonna do it? You know? <laughs> um, yeah. We do have private nursing. Um, but right now, I am in the process of restaffing some stuff so I can't at this point do private nursing but we have done private nursing and if in fact we are doing um, any VIP in a, a hotel we could do that um, but hey I am public P call me let's talk you know I am willing to have that one-on-one -on -one talk yo Miss Tammy I was thinking about this you know and I'll be honest I'm one of them friends that you can call and tell me anything and I ain't gonna make you feel bad about it Cause I'm glad you exposed it. The devil's a liar. Okay? Don't hold secrets. Don't hold secrets. Secrets will kill you. Okay? And 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 and, and, and there's a way to do it. There's a way we can get this done, y'all. Don't don't set the Russian roulette. Tell Mel to call Julia. Oh. Okay, okay, yeah. Don't play Russian roulette. Two things you can't take back. Two things you can't take back. Something you say is something you do. Once you said it, it's said. And once you do it, it's done. You can't take it back. You have to live now in the consequence of what you said and what you did. Consequences happen after that. So, take a minute. Okay?
Yeah. That's a whole nother issue, you guys. The, the, the mental and emotional and physical and angles that goes through in these clinics. And that's a whole nother subject on about the, the things that happen in these clinics and especially with these coordinators and things and, and, and how I feel like they, they call your hand, you know. Um, but that's another chapter. We'll talk about that. I think I just wanted to just come on, just send some love, some hugs, um, hopefully to de-escalate the fear. Um, just you can't, the only thing, the person that you can change is you. Changing you may change an outcome that happens with you. By making sure that you're checking and balancing out what's going on with you and you're not lying to you about you. Because lying to me don't mean nothing. It's you being honest with you about you, okay? And what you're doing and why you're doing what you're doing. So if in fact you are um, playing Russian roulette, sometimes these things are just indicators to have you take a look at um, what you're doing and why. So again, my, my heart, my prayers go out to the family. Much love and hugs to my sisters that's coming on this journey. Um, I'm gonna roll and rock with you, okay? We're going to ride this thing to the bitter end till I see you again on the flat side. Miss Tammy, I'm out.